Scotty, I mean, you had a game, you know, you, you were shooting a ball well, your three-point shots were going well, and um, what's it feel like sometimes when, you know, I guess you can relate sometimes when some other guys aren't making some shots, but how, uh, yeah, I mean, how does it feel when you had such a good game, but it was elsewhere in the lineup, the shots, the shots weren't falling? Uh, we just try to come out here and play hard. Um, Get stops. They made some threes off our rotations. Uh, they had guys come off the bench. Shoot seven for nine. Josh Hart was a key piece off the bench as well. Uh, they got some free throws going to the line, so they they just had some good bench production that really helped them. Uh, so you know they they made shots. We were just trying to do our rotations and they made shots. So we were just trying to continue to get stops. Um, keep playing at our pace. Uh, we got a lot of good shots that didn't fall, but we're going to live with that. We shoot every day, and we're going to keep being confident on the shot. Yeah, can we ask where you got your jersey? Well, my jersey, you know. Uh, I got it from her. Yeah. Did you reach out to her? Yes, I did. Uh, uh, when we was in Vancouver, you know, I texted her. Uh, I was like, can I get a jersey? And she reached out and said yes. Um, it's like I need one of those. Uh, so then she got me a signed jersey, and you know, I'm, when, I, when she comes to a game, I give her a signed jersey as well. That's good. Yeah, this one, yeah, pretty good. I can tell you, nobody's that big on the women's soccer team. Uh huh. <laughs> Scotty, how much inspiration do you take from athletes from other sports like Christine Sinclair? Like, what can you learn from an athlete like her? Uh, just her dedication to the game. You know, she puts in a lot of work. Uh, she does what she does very well, uh, one of the best to do it. Uh, so, you know, when it, it obviously takes a lot of hard work and dedication and putting her mind to some and just being able to reach that level that she's at, you know, that's, that's inspiring to a lot of people. You, uh, in the first quarter, you were taking a bunch and, and making a bunch of mid range jump shots. Um, how do you decide when it's like a good time to pull up for that shot versus, um, to go. Uh, the shot was just there. Uh, like I made one, probably off the dribble. Uh, the, I think I made like two in like the pick and roll. Uh, I was in like a weird spot uh, on the floor, but it was just still like a pick and pop uh, to the mid-range. So you know, it was an open shot. So I was just being able to take those shots and shoot them with confidence. Yeah, I, I, you know, this season you've had some great wins. It's been, I guess, inconsistent. I guess through the 20 games. And, and when you look at the high points, what do you think can carry over and can build some consistency after the slow break here? I feel like as long as we defend the ball really well, uh, then we'll be really good. Uh, there's been some times where we go out there and shoot the ball really good from three, uh, and then there's been times like this where we shoot six for 32. Uh, so. We just got to stay, keep being confident in ourselves and continue to try to make our shots, uh, move the ball, play with some pace, um, and just stay locked in on defense. Uh, like I said, we shot six for 32 today. A couple of those went in, and uh, we look better as a team, and we could probably pull this one out, but you know, it's fine. We're going to keep trusting ourselves and keep being confident. Early in the third quarter, uh, Seems like you guys took a few quick threes there. Game got away with you. How would you assess what went on to start the quarter? I mean, I don't think that's necessarily what cost us the game. Like, I think over the game in general, uh, I mean, they made a lot of threes and, and we we didn't shoot it very well tonight. Um, I think that was the biggest difference. Um, we didn't play with like. 100% energy, I feel like, but it wasn't it wasn't a bad game in general. I feel like we, we created good shots, we just weren't making them, and that fuels their offense, fuels their confidence, and then it just kind of snowballed from there. How tough is that to overcome, Yak, when, when a team outscores you from by 30 from behind, behind the arc? Like, what do you guys have to do when shots aren't falling to kind of make up that, that differential? I mean, obviously it's tough, yeah. Um, it's going to come down to like hustle plays, like offensive rebounds. I feel like, like it feels like we we did a pretty good job with that. I don't know the stats, yeah. Um, and then like, yeah, I'd try and get stops anyway on on defense, even though they're they're making high percentage shots. Like keep making them tough. Like uh, 
don't give him any easy ones, like get all the 50-50 balls, stuff like that, um, which, yeah, um, we didn't do enough tonight. You are now 20 games in a quarter of the season. You got four days off to kind of reflect. Where do you think you guys are compared to what you thought you might be with a new, relatively new system? Um, I mean, I, I didn't really have any specific expectations. Um, uh, where, where I think we are right now, um, we're, we're in a spot where we still, we still got a lot of room for improvement. Um, I don't think it was a, a horrible start to the season. I, I think we would have wished a little bit better record, but in general, we're playing the kind of basketball we want to play. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's just not easy with the whole new system and, and the new coach and, and everything to like get going right away and, and be a hundred percent of what you think you can do right away. Uh, so. I think it's going to take a little bit of time, but um, yeah, we'll, like, we'll get there. That said, the season certainly hasn't gotten away from you, so I guess yeah. that's got to be a reason for optimism. But you haven't, you haven't lost anything in this first quarter. No, for for sure. I mean, we know it's a long season. We're not like we're not looking at our record after every single game. It's more about figuring out how to play our be best basketball, and then how that's hopefully going to translate into wins um, down the road. Uh, yeah, I mean, just. Control what we can control and, uh, and keep playing our, our brand of basketball, stick together, um, stick with the system, and then hopefully, uh, yeah, it's going to, we're going to reap the rewards at the end of the season. The, the record isn't for a lack of good wins. I mean, you look at the wins you guys have had this year, and there are a lot of really good ones against good teams or the, or the comebacks. Do you look at that, and is, is that like encouraging to be able to say, like, we know that we're, we're capable of this, or is it just sort of like, okay, well, how do we? start stringing those together more consistently? Um, I mean, yeah, like we, we know we're capable of it. Like you said, we, we showed it against good teams. We showed it against um, all kinds of different teams. It's it's about um, finding consistency within that system. Um, obviously, like some, sometimes it's just not your night. Um, and we've had a couple of those this season as well. Um, but it's uh, the ones that really hurt us is when we feel like we got outworked. Um, we made like simple mistakes that shouldn't happen, like uh, a lack of concentration, stuff like that. Um, those um, are going to hurt us at the end of the season. So try and limit those as best as possible. Where have you seen Scotty's game improve the most since your time here last year? I mean, I had limited time with him last year, so it's it's tough. Um, I mean, he's he's been very aggressive. Like I think um, within that. Free flow system, like he he seems to um, do really well, like being being aggressive, trying to get in the paint, make, making plays for himself and other people. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's I don't really have much to compare it to. We only played really a couple months last season. All right, you guys were actually leading the game in a lot of categories tonight, but it seemed like you guys struggled at the three. How do you compensate for that? I don't know. I guess you know, play hard. Uh, just keep keep what got us there. I mean, obviously, we were, I think we had a good game plan and we played pretty hard. And we just got to find ways to sustain it for four quarters instead of three or two. How is it that you guys have games where you know you come out and win against Phoenix when you guys had a late night, like coming flying back in, and then games like today where it feels like not a whole lot of energy? Why is there like inconsistencies in that regard? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it. You know, obviously, when you go, you know, you're playing a good team. Um, you know, you're probably more focused, and but uh, honestly, we gotta play every game the same. Um, I think one thing that we could do better is um, seeing every team like a challenge, and um, just knowing it's hard to win in this league. So I mean, I, we gotta play every team the same, and you know, trying to get a couple wins in a row. And what are you seeing out there? Because you've had some consistent stretches between Brooklyn and um, with Phoenix, and then of course, like well, mainly this game as well. Um, what are you seeing? Um. Same thing. I just try to bring energy, um, you know, do what um, is demanded from me and whatever I need to do to help the team, really. Um, I think we um, still got a lot of work to do, but, um, you know, my role is pretty simple. It's sort of tough to live when you're outscored by 30 from the three point line. What did you see was the defensive issue that allowed them to get what looked like a lot of open looks? 
Uh, yes, they, they were getting open looks. Uh, uh, some of those came uh, from the from the post ups. Uh, some situations we came way too early to help, and we did not have rotations on on the weak side, uh, timely rotations to take away those shots. Um, I thought a couple of times that they, really, they did a really good job of moving the ball in a half court as well. Like we, we, we were in our pick and roll coverages, they were able, able to spread that ball to, to to the wings and continue moving the ball to create uh, uh, good looks. Um, on the other th side, I thought that we were getting good looks as well from the three-point line, but it did not, uh, uh, we did not make our shots tonight. Yeah. At the end of the second quarter, you guys got some energy in the game and you got right back into it. Then the start of the third quarter, you really seemed flat as a team. Is there an explanation for that of, of any? Uh, yeah, but I mean, uh, <laughs> Start of the third quarter there, uh, we came out uh, and uh, we, we, did, we did not knock down our shots. Uh, uh, what else happened there is that OG picked up his foul, so we put, pulled him out. Scotty was having good energy there, that's why we kept him longer, and that changed, uh, that changed their uh, uh, rotations that we had in, uh, in, in the second half as well. Uh, I thought that a couple of guys came off the bench, like uh, Chris Boucher, he played a good game, he had uh, great energy there, he was able to help us. But uh, just a couple of like mind game, uh, mind mistakes and the turnovers and uh, travels just uh, did, uh, took away from some momentum in the game that we had. I know you're never going to harp on missed shots, but during that run at the start of the third quarter for the Knicks, I think you guys took three straight non-paint touch threes. It, can you? I mean. Can you guys afford to have stretches like that? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's always like knowing uh, the time and place uh, to to take those shots, you know. And uh, I think uh, we want to take those shots uh, when they're open, but also when we know that they're kind of like getting away. I think it was like seven point game at that point. We got to be more conscientious, uh, attacking more paint. Like tonight we scored 60 points in the paint and uh, out of our 106. And uh, it was just uh, hard because uh, some of those situations, there were so much going under on us. That it was hard to set, uh, set uh, better angles of screens to get us more downhill. Scotty was uh, guarding. Jalen Brunson a lot tonight. Uh, is there a specific reason you liked him on ball rather than uh, having him be the weak side help there? Um, in some of those situations, uh, when we were switching, uh, that was putting him uh, to guard, uh, to guard uh, uh, Randall, to guard him on the post up, just having a bigger body down there. But a uh, lot of times, it's not first time this year. A lot of times, we put Scotty to guard uh, their guards, and uh, I thought the start of the game that Dennis did a pretty good job. We just wanted to give him a different look as well, and different size and pick and rolls with the five men as well. Coach, you won a lot of categories tonight in terms of you know rebounds, assists, second chance points, fast break points, but it kind of is glaring like the three point line. How do you adjust like just uh, around that? It's. Uh... Get back in the gym, work, and uh, make sure that we're continuing to move the ball. And when those op open shots and open opportunities come, we gotta be able to to make those shots. The game is played that way. You cannot play a game without shooting from the three, three point line. So we gotta just continue putting work in and uh, and uh, believe that we're gonna make them. It's about the quarter mark of the season. You have a four day break now in between games. So some time for reflection. What do you think about how far this team has come and? what they're still to do in terms of setting the identity. Great question, uh, Eric. Uh, I, I obviously thinking about those this break of four days over here before games. Uh, uh, for me, it's going to be very important to message our guys when once we come back uh, for first pre practice. And uh, I think we're still searching out an entity. And when you look at uh, certain games that we played this year, like. Uh, some of the great wins that we had against Phoenix the other day, against Dallas on the road, against Indiana, coming back from some uh, some uh, um, uh, deficits and then coming back in the game, we, we got to decide what kind of team we want to be and uh, we know what is the road to, to, to success and we got to do that for 48 minutes, you know. We cannot come up to the games and choose in this game we're going to do it a little bit less or a little bit more. We got to have our really mindset what, what it takes to win every game and in NBA it's hard to win every single night. It's it's very hard to to win in this game. So that's why we gotta stay together. We gotta put a lot of work in and trust in each other.
You mentioned um, the OG's foul trouble kind of messed with the rotations a bit. Is that how you ended up with that OG plus bench lineup uh, late in the third quarter? Yes, yeah, because uh, Scotty was kind of like playing well there, there, and like we were like trying to get our bed, not not to allow them to make too much of the run. Try to be uh, played Scotty a little bit longer, and just you know it was impossible for him to play a full 24 minutes in the second half. We ha we, we got him uh, quickly out uh, of the game and tried to start the fourth quarter there with him back. But yes, that messed up a little bit of our rotations there.